VPC peering. So what is VPC peering? So in simple words, let's say you have two VPCs, VPC A and VPC B. And if you want your instances in VPC A connect to instances in VPC B, you'll have to do VPC peering. So it's a networking connection between two VPCs that enables you to route traffic between them. So let's say in VPC A is in US East and VPC B is in US West, both in the same account. And you want the instances to connect with each other, like your web servers may be in VPC A and your database servers may be in VPC B and your web servers may want to access your database server in VPC B, then you need to have VPC peering connection. You can also have VPC peering between two AWS VPCs in different account. Also, you can have VPC peering between two VPCs in your same region. But in this example, we are going to look at VPC peering within same account, but in, but in two different regions. So your VPC A is in US East 1 and your VPC B is in US West 2 Oregon. And we'll see how to connect both of them. So the basic requirement is you need to have in US East, you need to have a VPC setup, which we have already seen how to do that with two subnets. Let's say it has a public subnet and a private subnet. And this is the cider box of our public and private subnet. Then this is in US East, North Virginia. And then I have two instances in them. One is a public instance, which is in the public subnet. And then this instance is in the private subnet. And we have seen an example of this, how to do that. So the public instance SSH or you can SSH from anywhere on the public instance. The, this is the security group of the public instance. For the private instance in the private subnet, let's call it as a database security group. And you can only SSH it from the public subnet. So this is what the setup is right now. And then you have your route tables. And we have already seen how to set up route tables and public and private subnets. So I will show you my route tables real quick. So you have this main route table, which has connection to NAT gateway and the public route table is routing traffic to IGW for the internet connection for any traffic destined to the internet. So then we have already seen all this. So now we are going to create another VPC in the West region. And I'm going to provide this as the cider block for the East. We have a different cider block compared to the West. It starts with 172 and the East one starts with 10. And then again, we have two subnets inside this, a public and a private subnet with its uh, cider range. You can note this down and create your own VPC in the West as well. Or you could use the cloud formation template that we have seen to create your own VPC and subnets in the West region. And then again, we have two instances in the West region, one inside the public subnet and one inside the private subnet. So you have this and now let's see how to do peering between the two regions and we are going to SSH or we are going to ping the private instance in West from private and public instance in East. So instances over here will be able to ping instances in B, both public and private and instances in B will be able to ping instances in A. So we want that. So first of all, I'll go to my East, go to VPC, 
and then click on peering connections and I will go to create peering connection and we're going to name it east to west and the requester is east or so select your VPC ID over here and then here are the options available so is it my account or is it somebody else's account so let's select my account is it this region or another region so you can peer two VPCs within the same region in the same account but in this case we are going to peer with another region so going to select the region and it needs the VPC ID of US to West so I'm going to select find out the VPC ID of US West 2 so I'm going to select this and paste it over here so now and then I'm going to click on create peering connection so once that's done I click OK and it says pending accept acceptance so it's will go to west go to peering connections and you can see over here now we have pending acceptance over here in west as well and the requester cider and requester VPC ID so I'm going to select that and click on actions and click on accept request you can reject or as well so I'm going to accept the request so now it's active the status is active you can see up from both sides that the status is active now what we are going to do is go to our EC2 instance and then change our security group so over here I have this public security group inbound what I'm going to do is add a rule where instances from 172.16.0.0 slash 16 they should be able to ping this instance from this IP range so our west range should be able to ping our instances on east or this particular instance so I'm going to open the ICMP protocol for ping protocol for instances in the west so I'm going to save that so now our public instance should be able to be should we should be able to ping our public instance from instances from US West I'll do the same for private so a database instance I'm going to add a rule where I'm going to allow ping from so I'm going to allow ping from US West so for now both of our instances are allowing ping from US West and I'll do the same on West as well where they will allow ping from US East instances so go to the public West click on the security group I'm going to add ICMP from the East instances so I'll do that again from the for the private instance in US West as well so I'm going to allow SSH from US to East for you for instances US West and you don't have to allow everything you can restrict and just have private subnet of US to East uh, ping this instance in US West so you can restrict your source over here if you just want limited access or particular IP address to ping the instance or in US West and not only ping you can add different protocols so now you have your security group set up now let's go to our route table so I'm in US to East now and I'll go to my e VPC go to 
route tables so my private instance I'm going to add a route to it where any traffic for US West IP address will go through the peering connection so I'm going to select the PCX over here and then click on save I'll do the same for public I'm going to click on edit and then select the peering connection so any any traffic destined for US West IP addresses will go through the peering connections so I'm going to do the same on the east or on Oregon side I'll go to VPC and again you don't have to do it for everything only for the routes that you want to open up go to route tables so let's say public routes I'm gonna click on edit and now any traffic for US East should go through PCX same for our main route table any traffic destined to US East should go to our peering connection so that is it we have enabled the security groups to allow ping from the opposite region we have changed our route tables to allow traffic from the opposite region or to send traffic to the peering connection when it's for the opposite region and also we have set up the peering connection over here so now once again you don't have to enable everything you can restrict your security groups and your route tables to only allow certain subnets and things like that so now everything is set up now now let's start pinging so I'm going to go to EC2 and I have two instances over here and in the west I have two instances so let me SSH to my public instance in the east I'm going to open my terminal just make sure you have keys of east and west into your SSH folder and you have the agent set up for both the keys so I'm going to just SSH right now into the USD's public instance and I'm going to ping the public instance of US West and I'm going to select the private IP over here because our route table has those entries of 172 slash and you can see over here you are able to ping it so now we are pinging the public instance of US West from US East now let's ping private instance of US West from US East I'm going to select the IP address and you are able to do that as well so now I'm on my public instance in US East now let me SSH to the private instance in US East so I'm on my private instance in US East now let me see if I can ping the private instance in US West because we have enabled any traffic from US East in the security group and the route tables so and we are able to assess, uh, ping the private instance of US test from US East as well so now you can do the same thing you can SSH to the US West instances and ping US East instances so this is just a ping protocol but you could restrict it to only allow your database security groups or database port or SSH port and things like that so now basically we wanted to understand what is VPC peering and how to peer your networks 
in two different regions so we have a vpc in us east and a vpc in us west and we essentially paired the two networks and were able to ping instances from each network so you could also set vpc peering between two vpcs in the same region or in two different regions and different accounts and things like that so this is the aws solution for vpc peering